Thanks for staying with us. This is Still Campus 360 with me, Diana Nuchiga. Stella Jima is the SHS literature teacher on the Joy Learning Channel. We find out more about her in our News and Focus segment. I'm here with your favorite literature teacher, Jima. You look lovely. In fact, mwah, this outfit is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Diane. Great. <laughs> so, there was a song you always sing before you start your show. Mm. Your viewers will love to hear this particular <laughs> song. <laughs> okay. Which of them? Let's go. Love and literature. Love and literature. Literature makes you fun. Literature inspires you. Educated, entertained. Yay. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> we love literature. Yes. Okay, so Jima, tell me about yourself. Okay. And so um, I'm Stella Jima Labi, but I love a Jima Labi. I feel that everybody needs to create an identity. And so Jima makes me stand out. Okay. And so I just love a Jima Labi. Um, my educational background. So I started school at um, Church of Christ Preparatory, is at Aquitia. And then I came to continue at Fruits Academy. And then in JHS2, I moved to Shino. Shino is at Apenkwa. Yes, Apenkwa area. And then from there, I continued to Benkum Secondary School. And so I'm a Ben Scodian, a proud one, <laughs> of course. And then from Ben Kum, I went to the training college. And so that is actually where my drive started from secondary school. When everybody wanted to do this, wanted to do that, I wanted to be a teacher. Yeah. Um, what I had, motivated you? What motivated me? Motivated my dad was one. So my dad retired as a teacher okay. and he inspired me greatly because I remember as a little girl, I would see my dad wake up early in the morning. He would just go around. He used to be a senior house master and he had several names, you know. One of them is Wafabo <laughs> <laughs> and then Ashegu. Now he go around to ensure that everybody is up, cleaning around, the compound is set. Students are going to class, and I never saw him sick. Wow. He was, you know, he was healthy while he was in school. And I felt that, okay, if this man is giving out his all, then I can equally do the same. So that is where the drive started. And the second was from my literature teacher. Okay. Hello there, Aodede. <laughs> Aodede inspired me greatly. So even in secondary school, I was teaching literature. Okay, okay. In her absence, when she's late for class, by the time she comes, I'm teaching. So you fell in love with I literature because I of I fell literature. in love okay. with literature because of her. Okay. She, she made a subject so fun. Others didn't see it that way. But I feel that once you put yourself in the subject, you get to love it. And so she was the foundation okay. for love and literature. And my English teacher, okay. I mean, he saw rest in peace. Mr. Busa. In fact, you never entered that man's class without your dictionary. Wow. And he was super good. That, that like super. He was just good. So, and they pushed me. I just saw their drive. I saw how they were dying for the job. How they wanted the learners to, to speak good English. And then analyze things from their point of view, from their own perspective. And so I said, okay, so what is the subject that, whatever you say is not wrong once you are able to back it. Exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't sit down and then, you know, memorize those kind of things. But if I can read, understand, yeah. from my own point exactly. of view, just yeah. quote lines, yes. support, I'm good to go, then yay, then I move. And so I fell in love with the subject. And then I progressed with it. Because I remember in college, when I went to training college. Which um, training college? I went to the Presbyterian Women's College of Education. Looking at that. Ibui. Okay. Yes. Um, at college, we were only four in the literature class. Just four? Yes. Wow. <laughs> in fact, when it started, we were two. 
And then the teacher said, if we are only two, she wouldn't two teach. teach. So where did you get that two from? Where did we get the other two from? <laughs> so my friend Angie, hmm, cheers. Angie, uh, Angie and myself, we said we would read literature. Um, and then we went to speak to the literature teacher, Mejo. She's retired now. Okay. And then when we went to her, she said, two people, no. <laughs> <laughs> she would teach. She won't teach. And then we went around soliciting for people. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> On their hands. <laughs> On their hands, you know. For the students. Exactly, for students to just come and study literature. So I remember Angie and myself, we went around. And I think it was Diana. Diana and Angie, okay, who were three. Okay. Myself, Interesting. Diana My and Angie. also called Angie. Okay. <laughs> so myself, Diana and Angie. And then we went around. And we got a Geneva. So she never came to join and we were four in the literature class. Wow. And then she said, okay, she would teach. She would teach four? Yes. So we are four till. You are four oh. till, yes. Wow. So we are four. Um, and then for me, I just love the subject. And I've given the basis. A subject that you don't need to memorize anything Easy, in your head. Yeah. All you need to do is to understand the text. Understand what you are reading. And you are able to apply. And so from college... Um, that's the drive. Yes. And then from college, I thought that this is what I want to do. Lovely. Charlie, lovely, this lovely. This is what I wanted to do. <laughs> so it's your dad, your literature teacher, yes. and your English teacher. Yes. yes. So with this journey, did yeah. you encounter any kind of difficulties that you want to share with us? Of course. The, the, the difficulties are enormous. However, one of the things that always give me the drive is that after all is said and done, when you see your learners out there yeah. excelling, doing amazing things, when they call you, you get the consolation. I've got somebody tell me that Madame Abadam. Ah. <laughs> Madame is smart. I think when I was doing my teaching practice, I wrote something on the board and then I think I had to clean and write. You I don't know what again. happened, but I cleaned again. And then he whispered at the back, Madam Abodam. And so one of them said, if I, it was loud that I heard it. And when I heard it, what did I do? I didn't do anything. I just looked at him and then I said, oh, these children, you can't follow them. Well, so it's one of them. Um, the learners, some of them don't understand. You, you know, you have to be patient children, with yeah, them. Another challenge, people always talk about the money. Money is sweet, you know. My learners will tell you. Money is shit. <laughs> Who doesn't like money? I know. Everybody loves money. Without money, you'll be looking this good. Oh, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> but after all is said and done, when you get the money and you've not touched any life, That's true. what have you left on earth? I love money. Everybody loves money. But I don't see that as a challenge. I feel there is more to the money. The joy you get when you teach them, they understand, they yeah. pass their exams, yeah. they excel, is enough. So it's uh, about the passion it's for It's about you. the passion for me. So the challenges I, you know, I've got students who, who said I won't celebrate Christmas before. <laughs> this is I won't celebrate Christmas because, before because I was hard on them. Okay. But then these people look back and I'm sure they've got a reflection of all the things that they felt I was being too hard on. So and then you won't celebrate Christmas with like a threat? Yeah, it's just like a threat to be there beat me, be like oh. that. <laughs> so I think that was the challenge. And um, you get some of them sending you text messages. Same and when they finish, me. yes, threatening text messages. Because you, they, they thought you were hard on them. Yes. Wow. And the when they finish, they'll throw the chip away. <laughs> they are scared. They are scared. So I think... Um, does, if it's about challenge, that is the only challenge I've seen. But I embrace all challenges yes. with hope. Lovely. Because I believe that in the challenge comes beautiful opportunities. Definitely. So I ask, what can I do out of this challenge? If it's a challenge with infrastructure, what can we do to make it better? There, we, we've been able to you know, maneuver and do things that sometimes you sit back and you're like, I did this. So currently, which school are you teaching in? Okay, so currently I'm in two schools, but I'll mention them. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the you know, ask questions. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that's good, yes. that's good. So, how do you see, or how do you see yourself in the teaching for like in future? How do okay. you see yourself? 
Some, some in the teaching some profession. Some, some, some professor be like that. Eh? <laughs> Left to me alone. I will always love to be with the teens. Okay. Because I look at the foundation. Let's look at the structure we are in now. If the foundation is not solid, you can just imagine what's going to happen. You think buildings collapse, right? Yeah, sure. That is because of the foundation. foundation. And so if we are able to lay a solid foundation there, they get to the university and the challenges, they are able to confront it easily. And so even if I become a professor, professor is about writing papers. Exactly. And so if I'm able to write a lot of papers and I become a professor, I still want to be at a position where I can sit down and oversee to the development of the young people. Yeah. So that is my, like, on my drive, <laughs> my drive to see that these young people are excelling. These young people are finding their places. They are discovering their passion, not just the books, because I see beyond the books comes a lot of other things. Yeah, true. Some of them can manufacture these things. They can fix your shoe for you. If you need a painter, you've got them. Somebody to make you up, somebody to get your outfit together. Some of them don't need their books. And so I want to be at a position where I can sit down, influence decision, and oversee that these young people are fitting in the right positions, okay. right areas okay. that will help them to get there. Nice. Yes. <laughs> so how did you get introduced to the Joy Learning Channel? Oh, Joy Learning. And so shout out to you, La Tele. <laughs> My friend. Okay, okay, so I was watching. I used to watch it. Okay. Before I even came on, okay. I was watching Joy Learning. And I loved it. Anytime they were teaching, I'll just sit down and then I'll be watching the teachers. And I've, I've always seen that there'll be an opportunity where I'll be on t TV doing something for children, okay. young people. Okay. So I, know, I knew that it was coming. It was a prophecy. <laughs> So as, even as you were watching, you could see yourself on TV. Exactly. Teaching. teaching nice like, one. Not just teaching, doing something with them. Nice. And so I actually pictured myself doing something like that. And it came to pass. And one of the things that um, I believe in is grace. Okay. Yes. Um, David was not having any um, resume. He didn't prepare any, he didn't put any CV together, but his name was mentioned. Sure. And that is how things happen. And um, I believe in grace. Yeah, like I believe in grace. So a lot, there are a lot of teachers, a lot of people, but you'll be singled out to do this. I've been on platforms that there are times that I feel personally, I don't deserve, deserve it. to be there. Yes, I don't deserve it, but grace puts you there. He knows the seed you're sowing, and because he, need, he knows the seed you're sowing, he waters it, makes it grow, flourish for people to see. So how are you selected? Like among, did you guys go to some you kind No. Know. <laughs> how was I selected? Okay, so we're asked to submit our resumes, and then those on quick interview be like that. Okay. Yes. And I was elected though. <laughs> and I'm here. <laughs> and I'm proud of it and excited Aww. about it. And thank you to Nana and the team. Thank you to Nana. Nana has got a lot of trust in me. Yeah. Nana, thank you. Dennis. Yeah, Dennis is Nana. And my friend Latele, Theodosia. She okay. teaches business okay. management. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Sure. Her, her love is super. I think you need. Um, the right team, the right, right. team, yeah. the right people, people around. around you, they true. give you the edge to move on. Sometimes you finish teaching, they're like, "Oh, it went very well." There were times when you yourself within, you're like, "And then, then what did I do?" <laughs> <laughs> okay, what so did if I do? Um, you didn't become a teacher, what yeah. profession? Do okay, you have chosen. Okay, outside the teaching profession. Okay, can you guess? Acting. Acting. <laughs> Okay, I think oh, I journalism. Journalism is like that. <laughs> okay, so so I the on the side. So before I went to college, I was just be a teacher, a journalist, and a lawyer. Ooh, three in one. Three in one. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the first was to be a teacher, 
The second option, if I get journalism. So the, first, the, the first passion was teaching. The first passion was because teaching. The, the second dad. was journalism. Okay. And then the third was law. At a point, the law became very intense. Okay. Yes. Like, it's giddy, 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 giddy. It's not giddy. too late. It's not late. But then, I got um, Dr. Yakuhine. Um, so you need, another thing that you need to is that you need mentors, okay? You need mentors in the profession, mentors outside the profession, spiritual mentors. And when it comes to pr the profession, Dr. Yakuhine, she was like, Jima, I think if you continue, if you go on to pursue the English, it will help. You can put the law aside. You can always read the law. And I say thank you to her because I've never regretted it. When I followed the decision, it's been fruitful. And so, lawyer, it's a come to pass. Mm. Teacher, I am. Mm. Journalist, Where I am. You? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so okay. journalism. To be a journalist and a lawyer. Because I remember you could see me, I'll pick a paper, and then now the news and details. Hey, it's pressure. <laughs> <laughs> I used to read the news and then I'll model in the house. <laughs> So yeah. since you started the teaching profession, yeah. how many lives have you impacted? And even with the joy and child, you have impacted yeah. many lives of students who can even testify to the fact that yeah. because of your lessons, their academic oh, wow. um, performance has have improved. Have improved. How does that make you feel? Um, it feels good. In fact, just yesterday, a friend we were talking, she was like, my kids will always love to sit down and watch Auntie Jima teaching. Aww. And I'm like, really? And you never told me. And I feel humbled, especially when I get feedback, positive feedback. I, I'm somebody who really loves criticism. Okay. Because I believe that if you don't allow yourself to be criticized, you can move on. You can progress. Yes. Because whoever fails to accept criticism lags That's behind true. you That's lag true. behind and so she was like oh i love this topic and then one of the, some time ago i got one of my doctors she said well done darling i watched you from beginning to the end oh. i'm like really because before then i never posted anything of joy learning on my status because of her because i knew that eh, hey, yeah yeah always on dvd <laughs> <laughs> you're not right that you do that but then she said I loved what she Aww. did, you know, and so not just the, the learners watching, but we even get teachers watching, watching. we get our teachers watching, <laughs> and it's, it's just inspiring, it's just inspiring. What so the great. number of lives that have been, is, that have been charged, it's just uncountable. Countless. Countless, yes, countless. Wow, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's been great talking to you. Thank oh, you for having us. Okay. It's great. It's, it's, it's nice to know that teachers are passionate about yeah. the work they do. Some teachers. Yeah. We, we wish that all teachers would be passionate like yeah. that. To just yeah. take the teaching profession at heart and then forget about the money a bit. <laughs> you know, money is sweet, you know. <laughs> okay, but thank you, the Jima, money for talking to us. I really appreciate yeah. your time. It's, yeah. it's been inspiring talking to you. Going and I'm humbled being here. You are. Yes, really humble. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you too. <laughs> now, let's take you through the lessons we have for you this week on Joy Learning. This week on Joy Learning, JHS lessons are from Monday to Friday at 5 p.m. with a repeat at 6.30 a.m. Monday, JHS 1, French, preposition. Tuesday, JHS 1, ICT, graphical user interface. Wednesday, JHS 1, Maths, Decimal, Fraction. Thursday, JHS 2, Integrated Science, Diversity of Matter. Friday, JHS 2, ICT, Communication. JHS 3 Revision Show is on Monday to Friday at 6 p.m. with a repeat at 2 p.m. Monday, ICT, Computer Virus. Tuesday, Social Studies, Colonization. Wednesday, Integrated Science, Digestion in Human. Thursday, Maths, Statistics and Probability. Friday, English, Complex Sentences. SHS 1 lessons are from Monday to Friday at 3 p.m. with a repeat at 7.30 a.m. and 12 p.m. Monday, Core Maths, Algebraic Expression. Tuesday, Integrated Science, Safety Precautions in the Lab. 
Wednesday, financial accounting, accounting equation. Thursday, literature and English, introduction of poetry. Friday, English language, verbs. SHS2 lessons are from Monday to Friday at 4 p.m. with a repeat at 8.30 a.m. and 1 p.m. Monday, physics, work, energy and power. Tuesday, history, the rise of kingdoms and states. Wednesday, business management, legal environment of business. Thursday, science, acids, bases and salts. Friday, economics, concepts of supply. SHS 2 Revision Show is on Monday to Friday at 7.30 p.m. with a repeat at 10 a.m. Monday, Integrated Science, Heat, Energy. Tuesday, Elective Maths, Logic. Wednesday, Geography, Conventional Science. Thursday, Economics, National Income. Friday, Science, Inheritance in Organisms. For more videos of our lessons, subscribe to our YouTube channel at Joy Learning TV. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Joy Learning TV and on Instagram at Official Joy Learning TV. Joy Learning at 2, keeping the promise, growing the audience. Joy Learning, keep learning. Your 10 finalists are still soliciting for your votes to win the ultimate prize in the Joy Learning essay competition. Note that voting is in two folds from you, our lovely audience at home, and our examiners. Keep voting for the best essay to win the competition. Note that voting ends on 31st January 2022. There will be a final virtual ceremony on Wednesday, 2nd February, to announce the winner for the Christmas edition of the Joy Learning Essay Competition. Don't forget to follow us on our social media handles. And this is how we bring the curtains down on this episode of Campus 360. Thanks for watching. I am Diana Nutriga. Have a blessed week.